could he have run off to? He couldn't have gotten far. Let's see. If I were a young prince whose family just arranged me a marriage to a suitor I don't much care for, and I wanted to run somewhere where I would not be found, where would I go? Ah. I know where I'd go. Hmm. I thought as much. <clears throat> Greetings, my prince. I had a feeling you'd be up here. Are you comfortable up here? It's a lovely view, isn't it? Hmm? Your eyes. Have you been crying? Hey, rest easy, little bird. I'm not here to take you back to your parents, don't worry. Yes, they have me and half the castle guard looking around for you, but they're not trying very hard. They know you'll come back. And frankly, I don't blame you for running away. I'm not going to take you back until you're ready to go back. <laughs> so, uh, can I climb up with you? This tree branch is very strong. I'm sure it can take our weight. In that case, I'm climbing up. <sighs> you really like this branch, huh? It has a lovely view of the palace garden. And it's just behind the walls near the spring, yet nobody ever comes back here. It's the perfect place to hide away. Are you hungry, little bird? You stormed away from dinner before you could even touch a scrap on your plate. You must be hungry. Here. I brought some onigiri. It has some filling on the inside. Take one. No need to be cautious, my prince. I swear upon my honor I am simply trying to fulfill my oath as your guardian by keeping you fed and healthy. This isn't a trick. Please, eat. You must be hungry. Thank you. I hope it helps. <sighs> I'm not surprised you came here. This spot means a lot to you, doesn't it? I recall you dragging me and Instructor Hawthorne out here one day because you wanted to watch us train together. You always seemed so fascinated with watching him teach me how to wield the blade to protect you. And then you wanted me to show you what I had learned by having me train you myself. You had two practice swords in your arms and you just tossed one to me and took up a combat stance, ready to defend yourself. It was honestly so inspiring to see someone so willing to learn. I was glad to teach you the basics. Your swordsmanship could use a little brushing up, but for a beginner, you had a pretty solid start. And then there was the time I had to help you bathe yourself in the spring because you had gotten lost in the woods and sprained your arm after falling into that thicket. Goodness me, I nearly fainted when I finally found you caught up in all those raspberry bushes. We're lucky we have a spring blessed with restorative fey magic so close to the castle. Or else all those wounds would have taken ages to heal. Overall, this spot houses a lot of memories for you, doesn't it? In a way, it's helped shape who you are. That's how I figured you'd be here. You often tend to come here when you want to think, or when you want to paint. Or when you have an argument with your parents. There have been times when I've considered pitching a tent and a bedroll out here considering how often I spend my days standing here waiting for you to conclude what you're doing. Oh, it's quite alright. You don't need to look so apologetic. My duty is to protect you, my prince, and I take great pride in my service. So, did you storm off because of the arranged marriage? I can't imagine you aren't very happy about that. I know the two of you are, I mean, your friends, but to be wed? Even I thought that was perhaps a bit too fast, and unfair to you. I cannot imagine the difficulties you must face, having the weight of responsibility press so hard on you. And considering you're the only child of your family, people place so many expectations on you that you're practically forced to meet. And you have to face it all with a quiet resolve. The common folk, of course, have their share of difficulties, but I think what most of them don't understand is no matter the person that walks the path in life, they will always face difficulty in some form. Even royalty. I'm sorry. I'm just prattling on, aren't I? 
My apologies. This place really helps me ease up and focus on my thoughts. Hmm? I know that look. Am I getting something wrong? Is it not the arranged marriage that caused you to storm off? No, it is? Then what am I... Oh. Is it the person you're getting married to? It's not? Really? I thought for sure you weren't ready to marry. I mean, two of you are close, sure, but I didn't think you would ever wed without your parents forcing you- Oh, I think I understand. You aren't angry that you're being wed. You're angry because they're forcing you to be wed. Ah, I see now. You feel like they don't value your ability to think for yourself. They think you can't make your own decisions, or that you'll just go along with whatever they lay out for you? Ah, uh, I see. <sighs> now I understand your frustration. That must be incredibly infuriating to not have your wants and needs valued like that. You know they mean well. They love you, and they want to help you. No, no. I'm not justifying them or defending them. I'm simply explaining why it is they're doing what they're doing. I'd be lying if I said I agreed with it. Little bird, I've been your guardian for quite a long time, and I feel like I know you better than most. You're very strong, and incredibly talented. You are far more capable in your abilities than your parents give you credit for. I think you have a lot of responsibility put on your shoulders and not enough people around you that think you're able to handle it. But I disagree. You are capable. You are strong enough. You don't need other people's faith in you to be able to act for yourself. You can do that all on your own. Tell me, would you be happy with your arranged marriage, even if you got to decide it for yourself? You aren't sure? Then... How about this? Once you're ready, let's go and find your mother and father. We will talk with them, and have the wedding postponed or cancelled entirely. The two of you can remain as close friends until you are ready to take the next step, whether or not that time ever actually comes. No, it's alright. I will be there with you the entire time if you need my help. I'm sure I can sway the two of them. They owe me a lot for keeping you safe over the past 20 some odd years, and I've had quite a few favors from them that I've yet to call in. Come now, my little bird. Your road to independence begins by showing them that you are capable of standing up for yourself. The alternative is letting them have their way, and neither of us wants that. I know. It isn't easy, is it? It's downright terrifying. Sometimes it truly feels like a battle can make more sense in confronting a loved one. At least with a battle, the enemy is clearly in front of you, and the solution is clear. No, no, we don't have to do it all tonight if you aren't ready. We can stay back here until you feel rejuvenated. Would you like me to leave you be? Now that you have been found, I can keep the other guards away from this place while you rest up. No? Would you like me to stay with you, then? Hmm. Then I will stay with you, little bird. Also, I thought you should know. Your parents seemed more concerned than upset with you, and the rest of the family is carrying on like it didn't happen. They simply found me and said, Rowan, gather the rest of the castle guard and find our son. Bring him back safe and unharmed. That last part concerned me quite a bit, do they think I would go so far as to hurt you just to bring you home? But anyway, I have my orders, but I consider your needs my primary objective. Orders from your parents are secondary, alright? Hey, on my honor, I will stay with you until you are well again, however long that may be. Are you feeling any better yet? I'm glad. Hmm, painting and honing your swordsmanship may help you calm down. Would you like to come down from the tree and spend some time practicing? Then take my shoulders. I'll carry you down. <laughs> 
Please. I've carried you down the street plenty of times. I'm not gonna let you down now. No need to look worried. There we go. Now then, let's see. I think we still have the practice sword somewhere around here. Ah, here they are. Here you go. Now, little bird, show me your stance. Your knees, don't forget about your knees. There you go. Much better. Now, you're very tense right now, aren't you? Why don't you try letting your frustration out a bit? Swing your blade. I'll try to block you. No, go ahead. I'm ready. Whoa! That was too forceful. A swing like that will drain you of your energy, quickly. <sighs> Careful, you're leaving yourself open like that. <sighs> Stop. Take a breath. Remember what we learned. Channel your rage, but do not let it control you. Feel that anger. Feel that frustration. But condense it. Keep it concentrated and within your control. Then channel it into your strike. <sighs> Good. Again. Yeah. <sighs> yes, just like that. Watch your guard and prepare for a counter. <sighs> and block. Yeah. <sighs> Good. Again. <sighs> Excellent. Now hit me again. <sighs> Close. <sighs> <sighs> Not bad. You almost got me that time. Good. You're improving. A little here and a little there. We'll make a prodigy out of you yet. Oh, careful. The adrenaline's wearing off, isn't it? Hey. Easy. There, there. You did good, but you put a lot of force into your strikes. You're going to be pretty tired for a little bit. That's okay. Mistakes are common when you're learning. It's just the way of the road. You can't learn much if you do it perfectly every time. Why don't we sit down for a little while? I can bring you a canvas and some paints. Would you like that? Hmm? Where are you pointing? Over there? Oh, you have one set up already. Were you painting last night? Ah, I see. Wow, I see you've already gotten started on one. Oh, my apologies, I won't look. But this may be a good time to add more to it. What do you say? Hmm, would you like me to be in the painting? Hmm. How should I pose? How about like this, with my sword? Yeah. It is a bit more relaxed, and it fits with the setting pretty well, if you ask me. Okay, then I will remain here for a spell. It's nice that you have a place like this where you can go to to help you relax, and a hobby you enjoy to help you with that. Hey, you're nodding your eyebrows. If you're getting frustrated again, don't worry too much about how it looks. Just paint whatever will help you feel better right now. It doesn't need to turn out well. I remember the one time I tried to paint, I just lashed out at the canvas and produced a series of senseless strokes all knotted together. It was like looking at frustration incarnate. But, strangely enough, it helped me feel much better. Like letting it all out of my body and onto the canvas, if that makes any sense. Practicing with a blade is a little bit similar, although it usually results in more broken ribs. Perhaps a paintbrush and a canvas is the far safer approach. Hmm. And this is a beautiful spot. If you aren't using it, maybe on one of my days off I should see if Camilla would like to come here. I think she'd like it. Are you interested? Well, there's not a lot to say there so far. She's been far too kind to me for her own good, and I've tried hard to be good to her on the few days I get to see her. It was a heaven-sent miracle I was able to muster the courage to ask her out at all. But... It was nice. She gifted me some bread she baked while we were together. She's so sweet. 
Love is a complicated and fascinating thing, little bird. I know the odds of a bond between a royal guard and a commoner blooming to fruition are slim to none. But I want to try to make it work anyway. I suppose I love her that much. Maybe you yourself will understand one day. If you are one for love, I hope when you are king you will have an amazing companion by your side. One you were able to kindle a fire with on your own accord. You deserve it. Are you rolling your eyes? <laughs> Apologies. Being a subject for your painting has me in a poetic mood. Like... The wind blows past us. He captures me on a canvas. We find our own peace. A haiku about painting. You look slightly amused. That's enough for me. Maybe I should take you with me to meet Camilla one day. She's a painter herself, and a baker. She's also so sweet. Perhaps you two would get along. And it may do you good to see the state of the town. I don't think you've been allowed to leave the walls for a few weeks now. Some things have changed in your absence. Of course, we would need to dress you up like a commoner again. I think you have officially outgrown the disguise we used to always use. We may have to get a new one. Hmm? You're putting your brush down. Are you all finished? May I see? No? Why, are you shy? Worried what I'll think about it? Well, alright. The main goal is to help you relax a little bit, not to let me see it afterwards. Can you please come over here, then? Climb on. I'll carry you around the woods a little bit before we head back. Does that sound good? Maybe a bath in the face spring would help, or a short hike along the trails. And don't worry, the men and women of the Royal Guard ventured into the woods and did some clearing a few days ago. Other than the odd slime, we encountered no dangerous creatures. It should be perfectly safe. Although there was a rather furious owl bear that had built a nest near the southern pass. Poor thing was starved half to death and jumped us when we were passing by. It got my arm caught in its beak, but thankfully Mavis was able to mend it with her magic. Bless those clerics and their holy magic. Hmm? You're tapping my left shoulder. Would you like me to go left? Very well. Anyway about the animal bear. Unfortunately, it had gone feral and was far beyond any kind of reasoning. We had to put the poor thing down. It is regrettable, but that is why we train ourselves in the way of the sword. Sometimes a blade and a strong arm is the only thing keeping the balance, and I would never have forgiven myself if it had tried to feast on a commoner simply trying to enjoy a peaceful walk in the woods. Or gods forbid if it had harmed you. But, considering you're willing to hone your training with a sword, maybe one of these days, if you were ever attacked by a creature like that, you won't need to have guards around to protect you. If you would like my honest opinion, with the amount of experience you have right now, you could likely handle a herd of twig blights and some slimes. Lesser creatures that aren't quite as fast as the average wolf, and certainly no creatures that can carry weapons, like goblins or kobolds. That being said, the most dangerous thing one can do is underestimate their foe. Even though they may be lesser monsters, they are still perfectly capable of ending your life if you let them. Which is why it's so important to train as often as you can. Hmm? You're nudging my sword with your foot. What about it? Did you want to try holding it? No? Then... Oh, you want to know how long I've trained with it? I see. Well, I was given to your parents when I was a month old, and I was sworn into your service when I was 16. By then, I had graduated from the Fighters Guild and had been guardsman for around three years, so... I must have started when I was around seven years old. That is 23 years worth of studying. That may sound like a long time, but like with anything, there's always room to improve. I'm still learning new things to this day, but as long as you are safe, and as long as the people in the city can live in peace, I know I am doing my duty. Oh, don't worry. 
I don't expect you to be studying the sword for as long as I have. I think you would do well to know the basics of self-defense, but I think that would be enough. The hope is that you will never need to defend yourself with a sword, but if the time ever comes, it would be good to know how to use it. Besides, your battles are in the court, aren't they? Political intrigue and all the like. Knowing how to defend yourself from other greedy noble families is just as important. I just want you to be safe. I don't think I've ever told you, have I? Well, that's because I've always been a little bit afraid of what your mother and father would think if they found out. Perhaps I'm still too young, but I've always thought of you as my own son. I know not a drop of blood ties us together, but I still think of you as family. I was there when you took your first steps, and I've been there with you every step of the journey through life. And once I reached my early adulthood, I was sworn into your service. I love you, little bird. I will protect you with my life. I will also stay with you, no matter what conflict you face. Including standing up for your independence after being arranged a marriage you aren't ready for. Okay? You're tightening your grip around me. Is that a hug? Hmm. I love you too, my own prince. And on that note, I believe we have found the spring. Ah, <sighs> perfect. The water's had some time to soak up in the sunlight. It feels very warm. Why don't we soak our feet in the spring for a little bit before heading back? Who knows? Maybe the face spirit within will see fit to bless us. I'll set you down then. And after that, we'll return home. And see what we can do about your situation. Does that sound alright? <laughs>